I don't even know where to begin. I can't understand how we got to the state we're living in. We've got pregnant 16-year-olds who can't finish high school. The fuck are you having a baby for when you can't even do trig? Shoot, most of you can't even name the vice president. What kind of life are you giving your kid when you're so fucking ignorant? It's not a communal thing quite yet. It's not your parents' responsibility to raise your child. Hell, they already failed once, didn't they? It's called a fucking condom, kids. They give them away. What? Seven billion people ain't enough on this planet? You gotta make sure your useless bottom feeder scum jeans make it into the pool? Pause a minute. Let me ask you something. Take a moment, stop the song, and think. What the fuck is so special about you? Now, I know we were all sat down in elementary school and told we're unique like little snowflakes, but I'm gonna let you in on an important piece of information. You. Do. Not. Matter. Our lives don't mean shit. You're made of the same quarks as I am, and there's nothing unique or individual about it. We all keep saying the future is in the hands of our children, the next generation's gonna make it better, but they're not. We can't even educate ourselves. How are our children supposed to supersede us? Are you really waiting for the coming of Jesus to turn everything around? Just gonna keep your head down, eyes locked on the ground, ears closed to the sound of injustices, of children starving while the majority of the population goes penniless? How much wrong has to be committed before we raise our fists? How long can we play martyr and take lash after lash and just turn the other cheek? How much are you willing to let them do? We've got 14 year olds all messed up with nowhere to go. Mom's high on Xanax she doesn't even know, let alone the layout to the house she's in debt for. How's anything gonna get better if we all just sit around medicating ourselves, zoning out to the television? Have you ever given a second thought as to why it's called programming? Of course you haven't. Oh no, no, the motherfuckers who stab their way to the top ain't gonna hear a word we say or shout on the streets. They're too high up on the ladder. I'll tell you one thing that's fucking true. Actions speak louder than words. No politician that's running the caucus is gonna change a single thing. You're ignorant to believe your vote matters, that they're even listening. Do some fucking research. No president has ever been honestly elected by the people. What gives a rare few the right to own five summer homes to live in a few weeks out of the year, while the rest of us barely scrape by on blood, sweat, and tears? Some of you are going to proclaim, well, they earned it, but that's hardly the truth. It comes down to the connections they had and the dollars their parents kept stored in the bank. I ask you again, how much will it take before you take a stand and do something for what you believe? Get some gasoline while it's still $4 a gallon and burn down empty vacation homes. Stomp on the hoods of cars nicer than yours cause fuck those people. They wouldn't give you a single dollar if they saw you on the street begging for food. They'd only thank their god, which is probably the same one you cry out to every night, that they were not born like you and didn't make any bad decisions that mattered. No, no, actions speak louder than words, my friend, and violence is the only thing that's gonna get heard. If they're gonna treat you like an animal, then fucking act like an animal. People say it's 99 versus 1%, but to me that doesn't seem like much of a battle. We're simply complacent, apprehensive to question our parents and what we're shown in the media, eat fast food, drink Pepsi because it's just so convenient, and you, you just don't have the time or the reserve after work to cook a real meal, and what with all your free time booked with processing and purchasing of useless shit that you own, the thousands of dollars and therefore feet that you're in the hole, who actually thinks of what life is for more than a third of the world? I alone am suffering. Is that not enough? Too long has our instinct betrayed us and trained us that we are our only opponent. Not alone, but together is the key to survival. An evolutionary turning point has arrived at the angle. It's gonna be like Homo sapiens versus Homo neanderthalensis during the Pleistocene era. It's not necessarily the smartest that come out ahead, it's those who are the most cunning and ruthless. Whether you pray to Brahma, Yehovah, or Allah, you've signed over the destruction of this planet, and we might as well all just kill ourselves because this fabricated disassociation is going to bring about the end via nuclear annihilation, and at this rate we won't get the chance to explore alien planets before the sun engulfs the earth because you, you simply cannot let go of yourself. It's fucking useless. What's the point? The human race makes me sick and I refuse to compete. I acknowledge the fact that more than half the population deserves this life more than me for their ambition, intelligence, fitness, or kindness. The fact of the matter is, I will stand alone until you gather with me, because if I fight on the street against all those more powerful than me and you sit still safe in your homes, I will be eliminated. 
deleted like an unwanted text in a program on the computer, scratched out like an unwanted word in a book, whited out like an unwanted phrase in a freshly printed document. And none of you will understand why I did what I did, yet deep down in your primordial bones you'll know it was because there's something intrinsically wrong with the way that we're going about this whole existence. Do something. Nothing will change unless you make it. Most of you need to let go of the next life and focus in on this one. An act of good is never truly accomplished if you aim to get rewarded in return. If fear is what drives you, it is fear that controls you. There are no misfits and no heroes. Even our all-knowing deities have violent streaks. Achilles' heel was weak. We have no knowledge of perfection and yet we strive to achieve volatile goals set by contemporary society when the goals we should be aiming for are set down before us by nature, global food, water, and shelter. Honestly, there's nothing I want more than for our lives to do a 180, for people to actually give a shit, for children to respect their elders, to run off clean energy, for you to stop following and become a leader, for us to move forward towards understanding and peace rather than cling to biases we'd release. You were born a human being, capable of contemplation, understanding, wonder, and question, but for some it seems too much. You just put the blinders on and go about living with tunnel vision, never looking up or out. Some of us should have been born lemmings, but here we are at the beginning. I guess it all comes down to lack of fate and the omnity of choice. We'll all do one thing or another.